This is a quick overview of remote monitoring system architecture. You'll see how the major components fit together to give you a bird's eye view of your remote equipment and conditions. Remote monitoring really begins with equipment that has integrated alarm reporting or dedicated monitoring equipment that is installed to monitor external equipment and sensors. The NetGuardian device shown here monitors dry contact closures for binary conditions like relay outputs and level switches. With a NetGuardian, you can also monitor analog sensors for temperature, humidity, liquid level, pH balance, and any other value that can be captured with the sensor. This D-Wire temp humidity sensor, for example, is measuring both temperature and humidity. Your NetGuardian continuously monitors the binary sensors for changes of state and the analog sensors for threshold violations. When an event occurs, the NetGuardian will report to your central master station. The TGFX software shown here provides a graphical view of events reported to a DPS team on Master Station using color-coded indicator rings to report an event that should be handled. Selecting an icon will drill down to a lower level, or once you've reached the lowest level, get you to a change of state list view where you can see complete event details. You can also set up optional on-screen instructions to provide specific guidance to your team. This instantly tells them how to respond to an event. When you've got a real-life situation on your hands, you don't want your team digging through some other interface to figure out what to do next. Those clear instructions should be right in front of them. Some master stations offer other views, like the Team on Web interface shown here. In this interface, which you can access using a standard web browser from anywhere on the network, you can also view alarm status. Just like the TGFX interface, you can sort alarms into logical groups and limit user access on a need-to-know basis. This Team on Web interface, by design, requires only a few clicks to access event detail. The impact of this efficiency adds up quickly in normal day-to-day -day monitoring. Master stations like Team on also allow your monitoring technicians to issue control commands to remote equipment. Each control is clearly labeled in the interface, and this remote control capability just might save you from driving out to a site unnecessarily. Here, we can activate an exhaust fan to vent excess heat without visiting the site at all. Monitoring interfaces like TGFX and Team on Web are great for dedicated monitoring staff, but sometimes you need the system to reach out to you. This is important if your operations center closes for the night, if you're away from your desk, or if someone else simply isn't paying attention to an important alarm situation. You can program a master station like Team on to send you emails, SMS text messages, or even recorded voice messages via a phone call. If enough time passes and that problem still hasn't been solved, you can even program Teamon to escalate the notification to supervisors who will make sure that it gets handled. For more information about remote monitoring, call DPS at 559-454-1600.